Stone. Welcome back to another week of a fantastic roundup of your work. Let's get started. Um, so this week, um, well done, Harry, for sending me in these pictures. I was so impressed with them. Um, I actually missed your work last week, um, but you've been working so, so, so hard on your time capsule for history. Um, some of you might not know, but Harry is the class expert, expert on history. Um, and he was celebrating VE Day this weekend by making some absolutely fabulous bunting. And he also learnt all about Winston Churchill from his granddad. Um, thanks so much for sending those in, Harry. Um, it really brought a smile to my face. And obviously, as the history leader, I thought, yes, lots of people are doing the um, time capsule. It makes me super, super, super proud. Good job. Now, Mustafa has been celebrating the month of Ramadan by baking some delicious gingerbread men. Mustafa, they look absolutely delicious. I wish I could taste them through the screen. How sad. Um, maybe you should uh, enter as part of Bake Off next year. Just pretend to be uh, 17 or something so you can get on. Maybe you can get away with it. <laughs> um, and just have a look at this beautiful card, this virtual card that he sent me. Um, I hope that if you are celebrating Eid, um, I think it's next week, isn't it? Um, it's less than a week to go. I hope you're excited. Ah, but you can't wait. Now, Fleur Marie has been really busy with her writing and maths this week. Just a look at that wonderful, wonderful handwriting. Obviously, the rose petals are beautiful as well. Um, just look at the amazing alliteration she used in her work. And I want you... Um, to look really closely at her handwriting, but also at this alliteration she used in her work. The sleepy snakes really gives me an indication of what kind of character that snake is. I also really like the way that she used the word crystal clear water, the words crystal clear waters and the lime coloured trees. Now, obviously lime is a really light coloured green and it really reminds me of somewhere really tropical. Um, so even if I hadn't read the story, I'd still know what sort of place this was. Beautiful setting description this week. Fabulous. Well done. Now, this is a video of Kerry and her absolutely wonderful flip book. Kerry, I've always wanted to make a flip book. Uh, you have definitely, definitely inspired me. Now, something else that is inspirational is, of course, um, Kerry in her allotment. Kerry, it looks like you are planting. Are they tomatoes? They look like tomatoes. Um, or they look like tomato seeds. Maybe they're not. Um, you've got to tell me what they are. Um, and I can't wait for them to start growing into beautiful, beautiful plants. Um, and also, if you look very closely, she has drawn me here with really spotty trousers. I love that so much. Thank you so much for that, Kerry. Good job on your flip book. Now, here is a quick roundup of all the other writing that I got sent in this week. Um, well done, Perry, for your fabulous work. Well done, Mo. Well done, Eli. Great handwriting. Love it. Well done, Harry. The fierce bat. And the wolf. <laughs> well done, Ashay. Ashay, good job on making sure you are including all of those capital letters in your work. Also very neatly set out. Um, this is Kerry's description of Hamlet, the white elephant from last week. Well done, Alice. Love it. Well done, Raymond. And then, of course, Milo has been still been writing his um, amazing dragon story. If you want to write your own story, please send them in. Um, I love it. I actually, your your writing is perhaps one of the most exciting things that I can read. It, I'm not I'm not joking with that. It genuinely, genuinely is. Um, and um, I always love to see how children in my class can be so 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 creative. So if you've been doing your own comics, maybe your own writing, please send it in because I really love to read it sounds sarcastic when you're not looking at me but i'm really not being sarcastic i i genuinely love it um so good job uh, also marvelous maths i want you to have a look at this picture of harry he's uh, coincidentally eating some porridge whilst he's doing his maths work uh, about porridge incidentally that's a bit strange <laughs> what's a coincidence um um if you attempted the maths mastery work this week super 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 well done i was actually really impressed by how much everybody got all the answers right it just shows to me that your maths is still super, super strong. Good job, everybody. Now, really quick note um, on Friday's writing. So this Friday, you are going to be doing a first person recount or a diary entry as if you are Leela and as if you are writing your own diary. Um, Miss Ems is going to read a chapter to you. Excuse me. And then you are going to write your own example. 
Um, now, last week, I noticed that lots of children um, copied Miss M's writing and then stopped completely. Um, and obviously, this is wonderful, but I know that you can do way more writing of your own. And I, that's what I want to see this week. As much as I absolutely love Miss M's work, she's a brilliant teacher. However, I'm, like I said last time, I'm way more interested in your writing. Um, so I'm going to show you a few things that... Um, are going to help you now you can watch this video back on friday before you do your work um but i'm going to give you a quick rundown and this is not just for children this is for parents as well so parents this is a bit of a kind of help um if you if you need it obviously um so the first thing um i'm going to just cross that out for a second because um i did say this was the first thing but actually i think this is really really important and it's the star words now miss ems usually reads the star words out after the story which i love but reading it before the story is also really helpful because as your child or as you are reading it you find out what it means and the story makes more sense to you so we've got a few nouns here um a few verbs and a few adverbs have a go and read these with your children um, or get your children to look in a dictionary of course um find out what they mean before friday and then when it comes to friday you'll go ah oh, I know what that word means it means this um and it will help the story to mean a lot more um hope that hopefully that makes sense um and the second thing that i think will really really help you when you are doing a recount um is to actually just to act it out do a bit of acting now you don't have to do it with your child um or you don't have to do it with your sibling or or anybody you can actually do it yourself so your child can actually do it themselves um they can be Leela, then they can switch to be the fisherman and then they can switch to be the crocodile. Um, and it will really kind of help um, to embed that story in your head. Another thing which I think is really helpful is to um, just do like a quick plan, like a quick sketch. Now, Miss Hems has done her own one here, um, which is lovely and I love it. However, if you do your own one, all of this is going to help you to kind of stick what happens in the story in your head. Now, I'm going to show you a really quick example of how I would do it. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the, not the five senses, but the four senses, because taste isn't really relevant here. Um, so first of all, what can Leela see? So maybe she can see the crystal clear waters. Yes, I'm using yours, Flemery. I was really inspired by that. She can maybe see the vicious pirates. Not the fishermen, aren't they? vicious fisherman okay that's um, maybe the sky is dark with thunder dark clouds okay and uh, let's use a different color you can tell i'm an artist <laughs> okay um also what she can smell so maybe the fishermen smell foul that's disgusting they smell disgusting um uh, maybe the water smells very salty the salty air um, and then also what she could hear so I'm thinking it actually doesn't mention it in the story but I'm thinking maybe she can hear the crashing or maybe not the crashing the spluttering sorry if you can hear that noise I've got building work going on next door <laughs> it's been wonderful <laughs> so the spluttering Apologies about my handwriting. Splattering of water. And then finally, the last thing we're going to talk about is... Let's make it orange. Um, and I'm going to put it over here. It's what she can feel. Now, it doesn't just mean what people can feel using their hands. It can also mean what they feel on the inside. So maybe Layla finds this all very funny. It actually doesn't mention it in the story how she feels, but you can make it up. Maybe it should be she finds things very funny, very humorous. Or maybe... She feels a bit worried. I think in the story, it uses the word apprehensive. Now, once you've got your plan of the four senses, um, then you can kind of draw out what happens in the, in the chapter, but just really, really quickly. I'll show you how I would do it. Let's use a different colour. Let's draw a line under that. Hopefully that drilling sound isn't too loud. Because <laughs> it has been. <laughs> okay, so first is Leela saw the fisherman rowing the boat. Here she is. See the fisherman. 
and they are rowing the boat. Maybe under her feet there's lots of squelchy mud. I'm going to put mud over there. That's what she can feel. Maybe she's a bit surprised. Can you see how I'm writing all of these words in my plan? This will help me when I'm writing because I won't forget to add them. Okay, next up, Leela saw the fishermen fighting with each other. Now, I'm not going to spend ages on this. I'm going to get the fishermen. And it actually says in the story they were fighting viciously. I love that word. This is an adverb. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget to use it in my work. Next up, Rambashi asked Leela if she wanted to cross the river. Now, if I remember from reading the chapter... He is a very big man and he's got a peacock feather on his head. So that's a peacock feather. A big man. I imagine him to be a very big man. So here he is. And he's got a tartan sarong. Now a sarong is like a piece of material that you um that you wear across your middle and then tartan is a Scottish print, like a sort of check color. Now it doesn't say what color the tartan is. But I'm going to make it crimson, which is a red colour. Crimson. Tartan. Can you see how I'm kind of making it up? And these are all the things that Leela's going to be looking at. So she cross, I cross over the river. I then look and I see a very large man who says, who goes by the name of Rambashi. He was wearing a crimson tartan sarong. His peacock feather was as bright as the crystal blue sky. Um, make it up. Make it exciting. Um, the more adjectives and similes you use, well, obviously, we don't talk about purple prose in year two, but the, the more you can use at this age, the better. So just add it in if you think it's good. And then I'm going to draw a picture of Leela here, and she's worried. Doesn't actually say how she's feeling, but how would you be feeling if you were meeting a man like this? I would be a bit worried. And if I'm worried, my legs would feel like jelly. So I'm just going to put jelly legs and then I'm also going to put butterflies in my tummy I've run out of space um so this is a really quick plan it didn't take me less it literally took me less than 10 minutes um four senses really helped you to get those adjectives and similes in um and also this is going to really help you I would have this next to me as I was writing my recount um so I can remember to use all of these brilliant words. Okay, um, so those are the two things that you could do to help you with your work this week. And my expectations are, is I want expect most of you um, to write at least half a page. Um, some of you will write a whole page. And if you think you can write more, then please do. And many of you will not need to use Miss M's starter to help you. I know lots of you used it last week, um, but I... I want all of you to kind of extend it and to make it better. Um, it, I don't think it actually. I don't think she was very clear last week, um, and I think that's probably why lots of people did it. But I think this week, hope. I think she's clear this week. I think she's a bit clearer. Um, so I, I understand why you did do it, but um, I know that this week you can do, you can do your own work. Um, you obviously did your own work last last time. <laughs> but I'm digging a hole. I need to stop. <laughs> okay, so. Um, She's done this. Dear diary, do you know what happened to me today? First, I saw a group of fishermen in a boat. Soon after, they started fighting violently. I love that. That's brilliant. I think I'm going to make it even better. So something very exciting happened to me today. I was waiting patiently on the soggy end of the river. So I was talking about the mud earlier. When I saw the most unusual scene unfolding in front of my eyes. So that's hers. Like it. See if you can make it better. Lots of people ask me for harder work. Um, you can make it harder by up-leveling the sentences and kind of just sort of being a bit creative about it. Um, so that is it for this week. Um, I can't wait to see all of the fantastic pieces of